there are certain things that can enhance your game. Game is learned charisma. You can only do it. You can only become more attractive with charisma by focusing in on developing those skills itself. They can't be replaced. But there are other things that you can do uh, to enhance your attractiveness. And I always try to kind of go over the basics of what makes you attractive in general. So progressive resistance exercise, any exercise is better than no exercise. Why do we always talk about lifting weights in this world? Because it is the most direct route to changing your appearance that there is. And I used to, I mean, being a personal trainer and owning gyms, I, I thought about this a lot, especially, you know, when we used to reconfigure gyms and we moved cardio up front, move the waist to the back, all kinds of things, you know, to in, increase retention. But the bottom line in our world, why weightlifting? There's no magic. I mean, you could say, we could always say, go play lacrosse or go play badminton or go play ping pong or run two miles. But weightlifting is the most direct route to physically changing your appearance into a more masculine, alpha, for lack of a better word, appearance. The returns on your investment are greater than any other fitness or athletic endeavor. For every hour in the gym, you will actually see results as opposed to you go run for a couple of miles. It's going to be a long time. It's hard to measure. But with weightlifting, you can see it in the mirror. You can see it when you push a car. You can see it when you grab your girlfriend. She's like, holy shit. You can and you rewarded for it again. And you start carrying more muscle. You're more physically imposing. Guys re respond to it. They're 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 get they get out of your way. They they defer to you. There's all kinds of positives to progressive resistance exercise. And there's so many things we go, we have to talk about that we go, there's no magic in it. But actually with progressive resistance exercise, it is almost like magic as far as the number of positive outcomes that come from this one thing. Um, and the negatives are almost imperceptible. You know, you, you can train, and I know guys that have trained 20, 30, 40 years with no injuries. It's just being smart. Um, and resting when they need to rest because most guys get into trouble by trying to push when they don't need to push. If you're not going to the Olympics, you're not in the competition, you're not going for the money, uh, you're not a professional athlete, you can pull back when there's a risk and then you can press again and surpass your, be your best doing it in a smart manner. Great hygiene. The basics always have to be covered. Clean, smell good. Nails trimmed, no ear hair, no nose hair, healthy teeth and uh, oral hygiene. All these things are base. It's like minimum wage. It's the buy-in. It's the, it's the minimum amount of effort that you have to put in to be presentable. And a deficiency here in basic hygiene and great hygiene means you're going to get fucked. A girl's going to look at your hands and you got dirty nails. She's like, yeah, those aren't going to my pussy. And that's what they think. And then you're out. Then she just starts shutting down. You have to take care of the little things and they add up. Charismatic personality. Again, running game. I think the game is natural or learned is the next one. They're the same thing. Game is learned charisma. Having a charismatic personality, an outgoing personality, whether it's true or not, whether it's your base, is going to make you more attractive. You're going to need that. There are literally millions of well-built guys with great hygiene and good incomes that have no charisma. What do, how do girls describe it? He's boring. He's boring. He blends in with everybody. Else. He's boring. And the number one sin with women is to be boring. And it doesn't take much to be interesting. So positive mental attitude. You really do have to carry this no matter how you feel on the inside. Again, this is one of those things you can fake it till you make it. A positive mental ad attitude projected out into the world will come back because girls tend to pick up this. They have like a mirror cell in their brain that mirrors your mood. Notice like girls get around each other. 
If one's down, the rest start getting down. If one's up, they tend to start getting up. Again, a positive mental attitude goes a long way to lifting her spirits slightly so she feels better when she's around you. And dressing in a flattering manner. I know you always, you always have guys that are going to go against this, and that's not your problem. Again, in, there's a lot of guys that any anything that you look at as far as style or caring how you dress is homosexual to them. But it's a good cover if you're lazy. You know, you go, oh, I don't want to do that. It's homosexual. And that kind of like it lets them off the hook so they can be a slob. But that's not your problem because you want to enhance and take advantage of every angle you have. You don't have to become a style guru, but you have to dress in a manner with clean, well-pressed, well-fitted clothes. Um, you don't have to be like a style icon. I think it's well-built style is the best place to start because he talks about you put on 15 pounds of muscle, you get lean, put on 15 pounds of muscle, and this is how you dress. The best thing you can do for the way you appear in clothes is lay down a good foundation physically and everything just fits better. You can look really good in just a plain T-shirt, jeans, and sneakers. But you can go beyond that because he shows you kind of how to dress properly. And as you kind of like move up into the world, as you get away from your high school and college friends, the more important this will be. If you're dressed out of sync with everyone around you, they'll know you're not part of that group. So if you're trying to move up the ladder, it's going to help to know how to dress like those that are around you. Everything else is a variable or negotiable. Notice I don't have income on here because you have broke ass broke guys doing just fine. You have guys that are bartenders that get this right. They make okay money. They can afford their gym memberships and their, their, steroids and their food and their car and their apartment and they do fine everything else is a variable or negotiable and that's the real deal things you should not have to be told but reminded daily are those things in front of you these are the basics these should be covered when you walk out the door and every day they should be covered in some manner and that way you're always out and about in the world as a winner and that's that covers the basics. Everything else after that is a bonus. Next slide. 